Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and to another weekend vlog. I usually vlog throughout the week and the previous weekend and then it goes live on a Friday but I just didn't have time this week. It's been a week, let's put it that way. I've had the washing machine packing fixed now thankfully but that was stressful. I've had troubles with my car again a terrible time with the Vauxhall car dealership which caused me so much stress and grief that's nearly sorted it's been busy at work Paisley's been here with me extra this week because her father is in Thailand and yeah it's just been full on it has been a good week as well though like baby girl lost her first tooth which is amazing the tooth fairy came and yeah that was all very very exciting she was like probably more excited than on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning for this tooth fairy to come and deliver her tooth pennies, bless her. <laughs> but yeah, she did that. She's also had a first ever sports day, which I was able to go and watch and that was really special as well. It didn't happen last year due to the restrictions that were still in place, but thankfully it did take place this year, which was really cute. I loved it. But yeah, here I am. This vlog's probably gonna go live on Sunday. If you're watching this, you already know that. I don't know why I'm even saying that. But I'm just gonna give you a bit of a catch up, a bit of a Q and A in here as well, which you guys sent me some really, really lovely questions over on Instagram earlier in the week. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, be sure to pop on over, give me a follow, I share lots over there. I'm probably more active there than here on YouTube, so yeah. Come give me a follow, Charlotte underscore in Wonderland. Be great to speak to you over on Insta. But yeah, I've got some questions to answer. I've got a sheen haul. And we've actually got another busy day, which I thought I'd take you along on as well. We're going jumping today. So as per usual Saturday, we've got dance in a little while. It's, it's still quite early, actually. It's about eight o'clock. So we've got dance. And then we've got Jump Street in Colchester with some friends of ours. I don't know why I've just put a dress on actually because I'm really not, uh, I'm not fit for jumping. I might give myself a bit of a black eye. So probably need to get changed between dance and jumping. <laughs> and then we're hosting a barbecue this evening, which should be good. I've had our shopping come, which I got from Ocado because they've got some really, really good deals on at the moment. I was able to get £20 off of a £60 shop, which was really good. So they do M&S food as well. So I was able to get some M&S barbecue food and those posh dog sausages are just insane love them i'm obsessed with these hot dog sausages so yeah we're gonna barbecue this evening which will be fun we've never actually hosted a barbecue before so i say it's gonna be fun it could be a disaster of um cremated pork but <laughs> we'll see <laughs> thanks for watching guys sit back relax and i hope you enjoy this vlog it's gonna be like 22 degrees today and by the end of the week i think it's gonna be up to like 27 which is just amazing i've done the bed sheets they're out here drying already little man's enjoying the sunshine but doesn't it just make you so happy when you wake up and see these gorgeous blue skies my baby's here and what have you, what has happened to you this week i lost my tooth last time you would have noticed that i i did have a tooth and it was wally and basically my tooth fell out my friends I think she's nearly gonna fall out, but she hasn't fallen down. Penelope is didn't. so close. She hasn't ate a pear. <laughs> Paisley and her best friend had the same wobbly tooth. It got wobbly at the same time, the exact same tooth. Paisley's been playing with hers an awful lot and then she had a pair which wobbled it a bit more. But let's see it, shows your smile. Oh, you're so gorgeous! And the tooth fairy came, didn't she? Yes, you get, guess how much pounds? One. Put it in the describe, no five. <laughs> Don't listen to my answer. Listen to your answer. Don't copy my answer. Otherwise, mummy will be a little bit sad with you. <laughs> I love when it's sunny as well. Paisley's about to go off to dance and we've done hair wash and we can actually use it wet to put the bun up, which makes my life a bit easier. So guys, I think I've mentioned that I had a sheen or sheen, however you might pronounce it, haul to show you guys. I did go a bit wild actually, but I am gonna send a lot of this stuff back. They always just have offers on to entice, um, spend so much, get so much back. So um, being the marketing dream that I am, 
I go for it. But yeah, let me show you these bits. So what I'm wearing right now is actually from this Sheen order. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Here's a full look like it comes to just above the knee and it spools out here. And I bought this with Disneyland Paris in mind. So if you guys are familiar with me and my channel, you'll be well aware that I like to go a bit extra in the parks. I'm all here for the puffy sleeves, the pink, the floral. Love it. I'll link everything down below, but um, Sheen is really reasonable. I think this was like £16-ish, but I'll link it down below anyway. Definitely a keeper. This next dress is a very similar style actually, um, quite puffy and has the like satiny, meshy bits which make it a bit special and it's giving me absolute Rapunzel vibes, both of these are, but I'm only going to keep one, I'm thinking it's going to be the other one because it just fits a bit better, I do prefer this one, like the pattern and it's a bit less like booby which is probably more appropriate for the Disney parks but it just doesn't sit 100% correctly. Dress number two it's like lilac and it's got a white like underneath dress which I do have to keep pulling down actually because it's um riding up and ruching like here um I don't feel the cut is quite right around the chest and the armpit area for my body shape but I do like it I'd probably choose the first one over this one, from memory, they are a similar price as well. So I think the first one is a bit more me. I got just like this little plain white crop tee, which has a little point there, which I quite like actually for a bit more coverage. And I bought this to go with the trouser suit that I've ordered. I'm not really a trouser suit girl, but I'm gonna try it on, see what it's like, because I do really like the idea of it. Okay, so this is a crop top, which I actually, really like i like the extra coverage in this pointy bit and it fits really well and i'm actually here for the suit pants as well i love the pale blue color they fit like perfectly the labels on these are very see-through i need to um cut that out but yeah i'm i think that looks really nice i'll just try on the top as well it is all a bit screwed up in the bag so it might look like a dishcloth right now but obviously i'll be ironing it but I like this a lot. Guys, I love this. I feel like a sophisticated woman. It's really nice. And it was only 30 pounds, this trouser suit. I don't know what's the matter with me, but every time I go to say trouser suit, I keep almost saying trouser snake. <laughs> I definitely haven't got one of those. It's a trouser suit. Definitely a trouser suit. So clearly I'm not a sophisticated lady <laughs> with my trouser snake, but there we go. But I love it and we're going to London next week for um, a food festival at Regent's Park. So I'm thinking this could be a really good option. Let me show you the full thing in the mirror. Yeah, as I mentioned before, it does need um, a good introduction and a bit of a time spent with an iron because it's a bit... Um, folded and creased but literally I think that's lovely the shoes are from this order as well from Sheen I'll show you them off because my feet are in no um fit state for the camera <laughs> right now and I've just um borrowed one of Paisley's clothes accessories floral bands but I love it I think I'm gonna wear this to London next week the only thing I will say is I wish it had a little clasp or something just so it um sat together like that because it's a bit um frillingy but that's fine that's absolutely fine it's just like an over jacket isn't it but literally really like this i'll link it below but it comes in all kinds of colors like pink and everything as well thought i'd go for blue i don't have an awful lot of blue in my wardrobe and yeah really nice these are the shoes they've got like a floral band across the front and um a block heel there the only thing i can't quite work out it's the buckle, so it's got like a normal buckly bit there, but then it's got this thing, which is quite unusual. I'm guessing that just clasps into that, but I need to figure that out. They're definitely a keeper. I need a white pair of sandals, so 
they're good. Right, and the very last things I got is actually um, a lingerie <laughs> set, but I'm, I've not bought it for the purpose of um, lingerie, else I definitely wouldn't be showing you this. Um, but it was like £16 for four of these little tops and matching pants as well. There's a white one there, I don't know why the white one gets um, wrapped up and the others don't, but never mind, you must be royalty. Um, but I bought these because sometimes I have dresses where I really struggle with um, bra choices for the back and sleeves and stuff. Sometimes there's a low back and a strapless bra isn't always suitable. And I thought these could be an option with this like spaghetti strap and just um, like netted bit. So that's why I've got those to try um, for different dress styles which should be quite good and they were really reasonable price as well guys i'm well happy literally i love everything in that order aside from like the lilac and white dress that's definitely going back i did say to myself oh i'll, I'll keep one or two bits send the rest back but i think it's all too good to send back i, I really like it especially this suit i love it i, I feel like i want to keep it on i'm not going to because it's warm today but yeah, I'll link everything down below. I actually find with Sheen that it's really true to size. So I'm a UK eight, I'm five foot eight and a half. Usually it says like an eight is a small on their website. So I always order the small and it always proves to fit quite nicely. So true to size, really reasonable and really good. I'm really happy with that little order. So I've just got changed. I found a more jump appropriate outfit and evidently i think i'm going to um disney's animal kingdom today pacey's eyeing up the leopard print bio i think that's going to end up on her head within the next 10 minutes probably to be honest and i'm going to cut the lawn real quick getting through so many jobs this morning and this weather is motivational i love it got the lawnmower out the garage and spiders in there are unreal so i don't think i'm going to be able to put it back i'll just have to leave it out here and get somebody to help me later because that was an experience I, it was like arachnophobia in the garage and i can't cope with that <laughs> having a little shell count aren't you darling yeah i've gone to 45 and look at this one that shell's that cool oh they inside yeah, what shell, that one's the outside. they still smell like the sea don't they yeah you've got loads here babe 45 40. Okay guys, so Paisley's at dance right now and I thought I'd take this opportunity to answer some of the lovely questions that you guys sent through over on my Instagram Q&A earlier this week. I've just driven to Greg's, which is near to dance, and got myself a little vegan sausage roll. I was going to go for a normal one, but then I thought, well, we're probably having sausages, well, we're definitely having sausages later, so I don't want to be too sausagey. So I've got the vegan sausage roll and lovely sparkling cherry aid, which I love, and it's basically um, no sugar go no calories as well so that's going to be good but yeah let's answer some of these questions right so as you can probably imagine most of the questions are about when are we next going to Walt Disney World when are we next going to Florida when's our next trip what are we up to I'm not going to dive too much into that because I am going to film a trip announcement video soon two actually two separate trip announcements because we've got two different trips coming up but what i will say is we are going to disneyland paris soon over the summer and we are going back to florida this year that's not to say that we're necessarily going to walt disney world because spoiler alert we are not but we're going back to florida what i'm going to try and do is like group the questions together so florida orlando disney world type questions i'll answer now firstly and then i'll move on to like more just general day-to-day -day questions so i also got asked quite a lot how did we find the villa in comparison to staying on site at disney and I love the villa. I think I said in the vlog series that it was a really different experience having that space and like a home to go back to, a living room, a kitchen, the pool to yourself. It was awesome. I really liked it, especially for traveling in a group like we did with family. I liked the street it was on as well, like the American street. I just, I really loved it. I mean, in an ideal world, I would probably say for me, what I'd like to try is half on site, either at Disney or Universal, whichever park I plan to go to most, and then half the time in the villa, because it is way more chill and relaxing than being on site in the middle of the hustle and bustle, 
I liked it a lot. It was really good, really different. It gave us a chance to explore off site, eat off site. It was just a different experience. Um, I'll definitely do it again. I'd recommend it if you haven't tried it yet and are thinking about it. What can go wrong? A few of you guys asked what's my favourite time of year to go to Orlando and some of you probably already know it's Halloween always 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 my first ever trip to Orlando was in October actually over Halloween and into November that's my favourite time because you get Halloween and Mickey's Not So Scary, Halloween Horror Nights, everything like that, Howl a Scream if you go down to Bush Gardens I think SeaWorld are even doing a Halloween thing now um We've visited Celebration in the past when that's all decked out for Halloween. It's just amazing. Halloween's my favourite time of year anyway. Like, I'm all for everything spooky. I love horror films. Love it, love it, love it. And then as you go into November, it all transfers to Christmas. So you get two seasons as well. The weather's nice then. It's perfect. That's my favourite time of year. Second fave would be at April, May. Like, flower and garden time. It's so sunny. Sometimes as you go deeper into May, it's too hot for me it can be like mid 30s and that's a bit too much so for me like end of april into may is also very nice february was good too like we had perfect weather it was really nice somebody very kindly asked me where i get my outfits from because you've said that you really like them so thank you so much that's really sweet i get a lot of my dresses and things from asos um also sheen earlier like i did that little haul they have some really nice like clothes that make me think like they'd be good for the Disney parks a lot of the clothes I wore last time were from Sheen as well I like Zara and River Island as well so just sort of standard places really but ASOS is always a fave who is the first character I want to hug again so obviously when we went to Florida the restrictions were still in place and we couldn't get close up to characters we couldn't do hugs or anything so when we get back to Disneyland Paris I'm gonna be able to give somebody a hug. And I think that my hug is reserved for the main mouse. It's got to be Mickey, hasn't it really? Like, that moment's gonna be everything. What is my favorite restaurant on Disney property? California Grill, all day long. Absolutely love it there. Had one of the best meals I've ever had in my entire life up at California Grill. It was so good. If you go back to our 2018 series, it's, it's in there, but incredible would you visit any other disney parks i.e tokyo yes absolutely so up until kind of recently it's not really been on the cards because pace has been a bit young to fly really further than florida in my opinion i'm also scared of flying so i've not been fully up for it and that's probably my excuse as well to be honest but i would love to go to tokyo disney sea I probably think the next park we'll visit will be um, Disneyland in Anaheim, California, the OG park, because the more I read and see and the vlogs I watch on it, I really would like to have that experience. I've always kind of told myself that California is a bit too far to fly, like Florida's my limit. Guys, as we get to the end of that Orlando fly, I've had enough. I need to get off that plane before my brain explodes, like it's too hot. I get restless and I've just had enough. But on our February flight, because the plane went across the different route, I don't know where we went, like, <laughs> um, but it took a winter route and it actually took 10 hours to get to Orlando, which is insane considering usually it takes like eight hours, 50 minutes on a good run. A good run, I say. <laughs> I say that like we're driving down the M25, but no, it took blooming ages. So if I could do that, I can do California because it's not much further. So watch this space. Right, I don't have very long left until I have to go and pick up little lady. And I'm gonna move on to like life questions because there's a few of those as well. So I got asked, um, what do I do for like work normally day to day? Because this obviously is not a full-time job or anything. This is my hobby and just something I do because I enjoy it. I like um, creating content and editing it as well. So for full-time work, I work in the private healthcare industry. I'm on the admin side of things, so not frontline or anything like that. I am in management. I've been with the company I work for for 10 years now. I've just had my 10 year anniversary. So yeah, all good there. I also get asked a lot where Rob and I met and that is through work as well. We met via work a couple of years ago now. I really like this question. If Paisley was a boy, what would you have called her? And I can't really remember what was on Harvey and I's list for boys' names because we found out she was a girl really early. Like we had a 16 week scan and I also had the Harmony blood test which confirmed she was a girl very, very early on. I like the name Presley 
I also like Theodore a lot. But I can't remember whether or not he liked them. I like Finley as well. I can't remember what his opinions were, but they're names that I liked. <laughs> a couple of you guys have also asked, will I have any more kids? I don't know. Never say never. Who knows? What makeup do you use as your skin always looks incredible? Thank you so much. That's very kind. I feel like I should do a makeup video because I quite often get asked these questions. I always use a good primer i use the smashbox one um i'll link it below i'll put a picture in if i remember <laughs> i use the clinique foundation and then charlotte tilbury bronzer and highlighter kit which is really really good i also use the lms spa um cleanser every day as well and the pixie glow tonic toner which is really good i've started looking after my skin a bit more because i am getting on a bit believe it or not what's your favorite tipple I love a tipple. It's a large Sauvignon Blanc from the Marlborough region of New Zealand. That's my favourite wine. There'll always be a bottle of that in my fridge. There's three bottles of that in my fridge right now and one of them's going to get drank this evening. This next question <laughs> is from Mr David and Mr Ian and I love it. It came up on my phone the other day when I put the Q&A out and I saw it flash up and it played on my mind ever since it keeps coming back into my head so it's what is your favorite potato dish and i love potatoes i love them in every way shape or form i love chips i love fries i love a roasty absolutely blooming love mash i love dauphinois potatoes i love waffles i love waffle fries love it all so i wouldn't want to sacrifice any potato i've got love for all of them but i think my favorite is just going to have to be the plain old french fry like it goes with anything also those guys asked <laughs> about my mystery umbrella and if you watched the vlog a couple of weeks ago it was just a home vlog i think it was the bank holiday one a random garden umbrella arrived in my garden like whether the wind put it there whether somebody launched it over the fence i don't know but it was there and it's not mine and i haven't found out whose it was to be fair i haven't done much digging either but i did put it up and it's quite a nice umbrella actually so i'm thinking if nobody comes to claim it if or comes looking for it or if i don't see any missing umbrella signs on the lamppost i might keep it for the summer because it was there it, it's like god's gift to me i really like this question as well what are your personal ambitions so i actually thought about this and it's quite a hard one to answer i'm not i don't have like a bucket list of goals for life or anything um i just go with the flow really as i say i've been with the same company at work for 10 years i'm in management so i'm quite happy with that side of things i don't want to progress and be a big old ceo or anything like that a little progression is always nice more money is always nice but i'm quite happy with my working life as it is i would like to buy a house and be a homeowner again i first had a mortgage when i was 23 or 24 um due to life divorce changes what have you i don't have a mortgage anymore i'm not a homeowner i rent so i would really like to be in a position to buy a house and have a mortgage again which i'm sure will happen someday i'd like to marry rob and have a lovely little family life all together and i'd also like to explore planet earth a bit more because over the last however many years it's been disney 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 florida 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 but with the world being closed over the pandemic i've thought about it and i want to explore more there's a whole world out there to explore so i do want to explore more of the world and not just disney parks that being said my next few holidays are disney but we're going to spain as well and i don't think i've ever been to mainland spain i've been to like mallorca majorca tenerife and all that but i don't think i've actually been to spain probably have actually i don't know but that'll be good anyway and i'm looking forward to it anyway guys i've got to go and get paisley now from dance i hope those questions are enjoyable i've whizzed through a little bit and i'm well aware there's a lot more i haven't had time to answer them all so i'm so sorry but i probably will do a proper sit down q a video in the coming few weeks so i've got them all stored and saved on my phone and if i didn't answer this time i'll try and answer next time so we're now back from jump street which was really fun actually really nice i like the one in colchester because it's a bit smaller than the chelmsford one so it feels a bit like i can keep an eye on my wild child a bit better but yeah pacey and penelope had so much fun i think i've got a few clips actually i'll pop them in now if they turned out any good Push 
super proud of herself because she learned how to do a flip on the trampoline rug. Can you believe that? Exactly. Yeah, she did a really good flip. So it was so cute. We're now just getting ready for this barbecue that we're hosting and it's quite a lot of work actually. We've got probably far too much food. I'll show you these bougie old sausages I was talking about earlier and our little garden set up and then it's just um, getting the barbecue on and waiting for the family. So here they are, the M&S British Posh Dogs. They're so good. They're absolutely massive and they're terribly naughty for you, but they're amazing. They're my favorite barbecue sausage ever. We've also got um, chicken, Cajun steaks. The boys have got lamb kebabs, which are just gross. And there's burgers somewhere as well. So we've just got the oven on. We can start putting things in here to get its base cook before we go and charcoal it all up on the BBQ. I've brought the kitchen table outside because my little garden table is not big enough to feed five people. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we've brought this out, leaving a great big gap in there in the kitchen, but that, that's okay. This will be quite a nice little setup. I don't know where on earth the sun's gone, but it's quite um, gray and cloudy out here now. Got the barbecue, the serving table, and the uh, fire extinguisher bucket as well and chef rob so we're gonna get started and hopefully all goes lovely i'm gonna end this video here guys but i do hope you've enjoyed watching i've, I've enjoyed filming it a lot today actually my little haul and the q a and catch up yeah I've, I've enjoyed this vlog today as i say hope you do too if so please do give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below. I do want to know, if you've made it this far, <laughs> one of the questions from the Q&A was favourite potato. So I want to know yours. Please let me know in the comments down below your favourite potato. And yeah, I love reading through that. It'll probably make me very hungry. But I'll see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.